Hello. I wish I had YouTube when I was 16 years old. <laughs> I don't think, I think that I was around um, 25 when I discovered the internet, but YouTube a, long, um, a few years after that. But. Uh, so I also started this way, uh, playing heavy metal music, but on this instrument, on drums, and with my, my brother and my friends, we had a band. And, and uh, my, my family moved to Helsingland in the, in the north of Sweden. And Helsingland is a place where folk music, traditional folk music is very big. So from I was a small kid like this, I was running around and listening to fiddle music and, and had really fun. But I didn't play that music because I, I played heavy metal music. So from 15, 16 years old. But uh, a few years, um, after a few years, I really started to like this music. And uh, ah, I started to try to play something, but I played things like, um, um, like this, maybe, uh, with a little bit of sound, maybe. I played things uh, like this. <laughs> Like you hear the music here, and uh, I played the uh, kind of some funk and rock music. Mm. Mm. And then uh, this fiddle music, uh, I tried to play these things to the music in the beginning, but, um, and I think it worked pretty good. So uh, are some of you here familiar with the Swedish traditional music? Yeah, but for those of you who not know, it's yeah, it's mainly played on a fiddle, and it's all it's uh, most of the songs is in three, four, so they are counting one, two, three, one, two, three, yeah, like that, and it the uh, melody can sound like and then you dance this music and party and <laughs> do whatever. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, well, I you know you have I've told you where I came from. So this da 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 I, th I thought so as well, but yeah, this is really good. And I had lots of bands uh, playing. And uh, then I applied for the Royal Music Academy, the first few years of jazz studies. Because I, when I was some, um, learning more and more drums, I was interested in more context music and started with jazz music. But then, uh, after I've been playing the, with these bands and these grooves for a couple of years, I don't know, I will have to change, start uh, change to folk music. And I applied and I got into the Royal Music Academy. I don't know how, but <laughs> I did. And then, one day, when we played uh, this uh, polska, I, the other one stopped playing, and I, we did a drum uh, break, kind of. So they played, and now only drums. But this, that was not folk music. That was something else. It was a drum beat. So then I got a little bit depressed. Well, what am I doing in this fine education? I do only play drum beats, and the other ones playing folk music. I also wanted to play folk music. So um, what I did was, um, okay, I had really had to learn this music. And the time I had these thoughts, I met an Indian teacher, a, a guy who played an instrument called Merendangam. And it's played with two hands. And uh, in India, before you can get your own instrument, you have to learn to sing all the rhythms. So um, 
they have a special language for rhythms. So a rhythm can sound uh, and then they play. <laughs> so before, before they can even touch the instrument, they have to sing it and then play on a rock or something on, on your legs. And after a few years of developing, they can get their instrument. So uh, that's the way how they do that. I was really inspired of this. So this uh, these sounds, I think, okay, what happened if I put these sounds on, the, on my rhythms? So I put this. So I got some kind of Swedish Indian <laughs> music. <laughs> and uh, after months of practicing, months, years, <laughs> because I, uh, I have had a Finally, I had a master's degree in this subject. <laughs> but it started with this the Indian lesson and this idea. And um, <coughs> after, after a while, okay, was And then I tried to find those sounds in the drums. <coughs> Okay, so uh, like that. So uh, I started to play like this uh, to try to develop a way of drum playing that you really play the melody of the music because uh, in a mo uh, most Western Music, you know, pop, rock, music, blues, jazz, everything things. Some come from Africa to America and then to the rest of the world. Yeah, they have a rhythm section. The rhythm section makes this thing that wants you to. <laughs> That's the rhythm section. Like playing. <laughs> yeah, and you start like this. And uh, in Swedish music, the traditional music from here, this rhythm section does not exist. It's only a melody. So I try to apply my rhythm section thinking, and I think for a couple of years, I think I destroyed the melodies. <laughs> but, uh, well, well, I made some other kind of music, but not this traditional style, all small variations on each note. So after I have been turning in this direction, I could I could really play this, uh, these tunes. So um, I can play this tune for you now that I've been singing. It's a polska. Polska is in 3-4. You can also dance to it. Does someone here dance polska? Okay, then I do not show the dance steps. <laughs> because, and um, so I sing it once first, and then I uh, apply this Indian style of how I could, you know, get closer to my instrument with these sounds. And then I started to play the tune on the drums, okay? <laughs> Dead, 
Thank you.